Since you've stopped on this video, you probably know a lot about marketing. Well, marketing in today's world is equally placed alongside the core secret of any business. Rather, marketing has become one of the most important aspects of any business to flourish. However, there are certain things about marketing that you probably are not aware of. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about all those aspects. So if you're interested, make sure to watch this video till the end to know more. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we would highly appreciate it if you took a moment and pressed the like and subscribe button. Tell us in the comments whether you knew about the things discussed in this video. And lastly, don't forget to turn on post notifications to get notified every time we post such informative videos that will blow your mind. It'll be greatly appreciated and help the success of this channel out. Alright, with all that being said, let's get into it. What is marketing? Is marketing for business that important? With the world shifting towards digitalization, marketing is one of the most important aspects every business should look into. This discipline holds a similar amount of value as that of raw materials, personnel, and other things that take space. But the real question lies, what makes marketing this special? Well, marketing is a tool that will connect the business to its prospective clients. Whatever businesses you're into, there must be someone or some set of people who would be in desperate need of your products or services, and it's through marketing that you can provide them the same. This is why marketing is highly important in the field of business. Well, we also can't curtain the need for marketing only to business. Even governmental organizations use marketing to spread any kind of awareness. Usually, understanding marketing is simple and easy. However, you probably don't know the underlying things about marketing that make it completely different. 1. The more artistic you are, the more you can reach your audience. The best type of marketing will be the most creative in any artistic way. When we look at television adverts or any social media ads, we see 100 advertisements daily. Do we remember them all? Obviously no, we don't. However, there will be a few adverts or place cards that will be in our minds. These are due to the creativity that those adverts showcase. There is a huge crowd when it comes to marketing. All businesses are using this tool, but only those who can succeed will think in an artistic manner. Nearly everything that you visually see in marketing uses theories and principles taught in the arts. For example, design, layout, color palette theory, lighting, atmosphere. Combining all this into compelling ads is what you see in print, on billboards, and in digital ads that you come across on the internet. Video is the most important and primary element in marketing. It requires enormous thought and creativity in the field of storytelling, the art of videography, cinematography. To make this section a success, creators like graphic designers, videographers, audio engineers are employed to pour into a lot of artistic skills to produce one single material. 2. Research, research, and research. The more you know about the market, the better you would be able to connect with them. As a marketer, you need to be aware of the market. The market here implies each and every person living in a particular area or having a similar set of liking. A marketer is required to divide his target market based on how he would want this product to be advertised. Majorly, people target the market based on the state or country, however, that is to the end of it. You can specifically target people with the same likings as that of your brand. Well, let's say that you were able to target the correct audience. However, if you're not thinking wisely and not connecting with them as they would have wanted you to, you'll lose the opportunity to connect once and for all. A selling pitch does not imply it will remain the same for everyone as it was for a particular set of people. Be it the same product or services, and the selling pitch will differ for everybody or every target audience you select. For starters, you need to be aware of the process as a whole. Good hold on the expectations, timeline, and implementations may require some work up front, but will help you better understand the reason for marketing. Furthermore, please remember, more minds, more creative ideas conduct productive meetings and bigger ideas will flood in. And lastly, create an ideal buyer profile or buyer personas that will help you remain focused on who to research. 3. Who thought science is not required in marketing? For all those who think marketing is a business element and does not require science, well, let us tell you, a lot of science comes into play. Let's say you've conducted a thorough market study, came up with a great ad that's well designed, applying several businesses and marketing strategies, but how well do you know if it will convert into sales? That is where science optimization comes in. Marketing as a science is about looking for patterns in the market and in customer behavior. Therefore, if a marketer has created two different display advertisements that have a different call to action, but the same graphics and maybe a different color button, 
science will be needed to test these two ads to see which one works the best with the audience given their characteristics. To analyze traffic to your website, the most you'll be needing is a data science analyst for conducting demographic research and social media reach analytics. And probably the last science involved in marketing is a lot of psychology. Understanding your audience, what makes them tick, and how to get them to take action are essential skill sets and marketing essence and persuasion. 4. You thought Facebook is outdated? It is indeed true that there are many social media sites like Instagram and YouTube for photos and videos. Even Pinterest is getting a huge audience and is a hugely popular option for driving traffic and brand awareness. Reddit with over 43 million users, StumbleUpon, Dig are also an option. However, you should never forget Facebook, the core platform that is connecting them all. The largest audience is there on Facebook. By dividing the planet's population by Facebook's users, one in every nine people on Earth is on Facebook. Over 250 million people access Facebook through their phones. YouTube is the second largest search engine. Over a dozen million videos are uploaded every day and about 60 hours of video uploaded every minute. One hour of video is uploaded to YouTube every single second. Also, a minimum of 4 billion videos is viewed every day. However, with the huge amount of audience Facebook has, 500 years of YouTube videos are watched on Facebook every day. 5. Your worst customer is your best one With every single worst customer you encounter, the better knowledge you get about your brand and product. Even though you might feel such customers are nothing but a headache at this point, you're wrong. These customers will make your processes much stronger, our contracts clearer, and your service packages more purposeful. Therefore, if you're a marketer or planning on being one, you should never ignore bad experiences in the business. These worst customers will be taking one to turn your business around by revising what you did wrong to attract this kind of client and how you can improve your processes to avoid this and make it better next time. Similarly, sticking to your favorite customers might not be as beneficial as you thought. It might do you more harm in the future than good. You need to understand that the market is dynamic. With globalization, instant gratification, and technological advancement, the entire industry changes in just a matter of days. So if you're not aware of the same and are in love with the likes of your favorite customers, you might miss the shift in your market and will be left caring for the wrong customers because your core customer's profile has changed. 6. Technology is the key. Marketing professionals need to be able to engineer everything on the internet to succeed and create a perfect marketing plan for the company. Becoming a great marketing professional needs to understand technology and tools. A thorough knowledge of Google Analytics ETM tags that tells you where your clicks are coming from in the digital space, how your website is getting into the visitors' browsers, how well you've set up your links to track the activity and results of campaigns. It's hard to find the ideal team to work and connect your thoughts with. In the end, if you're not able to find such a team and build a connection of trust, nothing can work out as bright as you thought it would have. Therefore, wherever you are and your target audience, you're required not to overlook any aspects, even though such factors might be directly linked to your field. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, let us know in the comments below what y'all heard was new. And lastly, make sure to turn on post notifications to never miss out on any new updates from us. We'll see y'all in the next one. Till then, goodbye.